Hello Supers, so today we're going to be learning about canonic utilities in Finale. This is how you can easily create things like inverted or retrograde lines with one of the plugins. Uh, let's just first add in a dummy line, I don't know, like, I don't know, like that, right? A nice dummy line, we can highlight it, go up here to plugins, uh, and then it should be underscoring and arranging canonic utilities. And then we can select a bunch of options. We can invert it, we can transpose things, we could do retrograde, we can move ties on the retrograde, etc. 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 So let's let's real quickly just invert. And we have a diatonic mirror inversion. So let's go with that. And you can hit apply, and we can see it inverts. Now there's a couple things because it's like, what is it inverting around? So let, let's just look at this. So we have mirror inverting inversion options. So if we click on that, we can see we want to that the default is to pivot around middle C. And that explains why if we have an A here and then we pivot around middle C, it'll then want to become an E below the staff. So if we hit apply again, we can see there it becomes an E below the staff. So if we change mirror inversion options, so let's say we want to change pivot note to be a G sharp. So if we have G sharp four, yeah, so then we'd expect it to be a G because an A inverted around a G sharp becomes a G. And then if we hit apply, you'll notice that it actually goes to F. Why is that? Well, that's because we had diatonic mirror inversion. So really, even though we had a G sharp here, it was thinking a G because it was doing everything diatonically. Then if you want to fix that, you could do chromatic mirror inversion, hit apply, and it would actually go down to the equivalent, which is a G. If you wanted, you could do select this and then hit respell notes, and then it would actually look normal. So that is the basics of the inversion. Now, if we go to transposition, transposition is very similar to what you're used to. You just transpose it up by however many diatonic notes or chromatic notes or semitones you want. Uh, very similar to how the normal transposing tool would work. Leave the accidentals alone. You could mess with that. Retrograde. Now, retrograde, for those of you who don't know, is basically playing everything back to front. So if we retrograde around here with no inversion, we can see that it just switches everything around. So rest, note, 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 note. This is completely backwards. This is before, this is after. With removed ties, the one thing you might want to think about for that is if we were to retrograde this, it would then look like that. Well, remove ties, what that just basically does is removes the tie on the retrograde like that, which can be useful sometimes. Uh, like if you have beaming that just won't work well with the ties, then you can go back and fix the ties later. So that is the basics of the canonic utilities tools along with a couple of the catches you might get. So you have the inversion and you have the retrograde and you can transpose everything. So if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more videos just like this. And each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell below.